Um, we got our butts whooped. Um, we didn't pitch. We didn't play defense. Uh, as the whole weekend went for at least the last two weeks, I think we swung at more balls in the dirt than we did ones over the plate. Um, I think we were 1-2 and and 0-2 and and 99% of the time, uh, with the exception of Jake here. Um, we stink. Questions for Jake. We'll come down front left, and then we'll go front right. Jake, how, how, how are they able to keep you off balance? Uh, the, just the whole lineup as a whole. He off wasn't the, off yeah. balance if you watched the games. Yeah. Yeah, just uh, what, was, what led to Louisiana Tech success today on the uh, Sliders in the dirt. Uh, we did make adjustments. Um, got to see it up, and uh, if we're going to hit it, and hit it hard, we have to uh, see the ball up. And we didn't do a very good job of that today. We'll come down the front right. Jake, uh, how, how do you make adjustments going forward? You know, how do you learn from this um, you know, as a team and, and try to improve, I guess, the offensive approach heading into the next season? I know it's a long way away. Um, just get good swings off on the fastball, and then um, the slider in the dirt is an impossible pitch to hit unless you're Mike Trout or Bryce Harper. So um, you got to leave those, leave those pitches down and look for balls that you can hit to your spot. As I told him, Aaron, we left Vladimir Guerrero at home, and maybe they must have watched him too much when they were younger because he could do that, but none of them learned how to do it. Any other questions for our student athlete down front? Coach, why do you think Louisiana Tech was able to have so much success at the plate today as opposed to, to yesterday and Friday? Well, I don't think they had that much success, honestly. Um, I think the first run, we hit a guy in the foot with a curveball. Oh, no, we walked in one. Uh, Connor was having trouble breathing. We came in. We walked in a run. So we walked three guys in that one inning. Um, with one, I don't even know if the guy, uh, yeah, you got a base hit to right. Um, so we walked in a run with two outs. Uh, then we hit a guy in the foot and they bunt and we throw the ball down the right field line. Uh, they ended up scoring two runs that way. That's three. And then the last one, we hit a guy and threw another bunt away and they hit a sack fly. That's four of their six runs. So I, I didn't think they had great success offensively. Um, but, you know, they took good at bats. And, and I mean, they scored runs. We didn't score any runs. We've scored four runs this weekend in three games. Uh, if you've been around college baseball very long, you're not going to win very many games doing that. So you score a one, you get lucky to give up zero. Uh, you score a one and lose, and we got a whole whopping two today uh, on one swing. So, you know, we, we never put any pressure on them to do anything, and they did, and, and we crumbled. Go over here to the other side. You talk about the offensive struggles. Why do you think y'all struggled this entire weekend? Uh, we didn't swing at strikes. I mean, it's a fact. Um, Friday night guy um, that pitched to us uh, threw sliders in the dirt, and we swung at him. Uh, we were lucky enough that the next guys they brought in yesterday morning actually threw it over the plate, and we hit the ball good. Uh, last night, uh, Sexton threw change-ups down, and, and we just swing at him. Um, I don't know. I, I tell them to swing at strikes and take the ball in the dirt, but they took the strikes, swung at the balls in the dirt. We just got to go back and, and get a little tougher. Uh, I don't think we even took good swings. I mean, I, if we hit the ball, we would have trouble hitting it past the co-ed line in the softball game. So, you know, you can't succeed with that. We had plenty of base runners um, yesterday, and today I think we could have broke him down a little bit better. He'd just flip in that curveball, and we'd stare at it. And then he'd throw the next one in the dirt, and we'd swing at it. And it was just ass backwards. Any other questions? I will come right down here in front. Coach, just what are your overall thoughts on the season, and, and where does the program go from, from here? Well, who knows where we go? Um, I don't know. We've made it to the regionals a few years in a row, and we've hosted a few. 
Uh, I think we have some pretty good guys coming back since every pitcher you saw this weekend will probably be back next year. Um, you know, we got some key think guys coming back. We got guys coming in. It's just like every other program. Um, we'll see. Um, you know, nobody knows. And, and I'm really stupid, too, just for your thing. This guy here got to play one game um, this year when we went to Bakersfield, where he's from. And normally when we play in a season, if I got a kid that doesn't get to play a lot, when we go to his hometown, I let him play. And he got a couple hits and then didn't get to play again for two weeks, three weeks. Uh, at Irvine, we had a guy hurt his back in the third game, and Jake got to go in and play, and he played every game since. He's only played 20 games of college baseball. It's not like he's a seasoned freshman veteran uh, that has, you know, 200 at-bats like all the other guys that were going up there. Um, you know, and, and he watches with intent and learns. And I just think we were, I'll put it in polite terms, a very unintelligent team. And um, we probably lost way more many games than we should have. Uh, I think we were talented enough to win games, but I don't think we were intelligent enough to win games.